it's a sham. <laughs> it's a sham. But it's business for Floyd Mayweather. Okay? And so you're right, Sam, man. When this fight is over and Floyd makes McGregor look like a novice, which he is. He's not a professional boxer. When he makes this cat look like a novice, then there's going to be this excuse as, oh, well, he should have won. Why did he take that fight? Then you're going to hear all of that from all of the people that were excited to see this and that thought that Mick McGregor had a shot. That's what you're going to hear. Same things after you heard uh, after McGregor or, or Floyd fought Pacquiao. Like all the excuses in the world came out after he kicked Pacquiao's ass. Every time Floyd whipped somebody's ass, there's an excuse. Every time, and I mean every time, for 49 times in a row, uh, 49 times in a row when Floyd Mayweather has beat somebody after the fight, it was an excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse. After he beat De La Hoya, it was an excuse. Uh, after he beat Gotti, it was an excuse. After he beat Sugar Shane Mosley, it was an excuse. Miguel Cotto, it was an excuse. Uh, what? I don't know. Go back. Every single time. Pacquiao. It was an excuse. People thought Berto had a chance to beat him. And after he beat him, it was an excuse. Floyd ain't shit. Floyd don't box. Floyd don't do nothing. He 49 and 0. <laughs> From the 47 problem, McGregor will not be able to lay a glove on the best defensive boxer in our lifetime. Uh, very true. Now, what I expect, and, I, and I, I guess some of the the fascination with this thing is, is that McGregor's going to come in there and land a lucky punch. Well, here's what I say to that. You know, he's going to come in there and just throw haymakers and try to catch Floyd on the chin. You don't think guys that train daily for the last 25 years of their life haven't come in with that strategy to try to land a lucky punch on Floyd Mayweather Jr.? And in 49 fights, trained professional technical boxers. Haven't been able to land a haymaker lucky punch on Floyd Mayweather Jr. So why do you expect a guy that wrestles predominantly for a living to do it? (laughs) Think about that. Some of the best fighters in the world, cats that do this for a living, have come in there with the mindset, I'm just going to try to land a lucky punch and haven't been able to do it. So why would you think that McGregor's going to be able to do it? Now, it might happen, <laughs> uh, but the chances of it happening are like, I don't know, point oh 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 one percent. Sham. Sham. It's a sham. Rate of a life. Defensive box equals boring fight. Maybe, but the checks still spend the same. All right. The check still spin the same, and he still got most of his faculties when he retires. What? You a big guy? Can you get punched in the head a lot for a living? Uh, I wouldn't want to be that dude. Huh? What? What? So, so it's some type of uh, red badge of courage because a cat gets beat in the head and can't function when, uh, later on in his life? You mad at Floyd Mayweather Jr. because he don't want that to happen? Come on. You need to look in the mirror. Now, don't get it twisted, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Don't get it twisted. Uh, I love the way those cats fought in the 80s. And you go back and look at some of them fights, man. They basically traded punches. They traded punches, you know. But I can't be mad at these younger cats and, 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 and defensive fighters, as you call them. I can't be mad at these cats for, for trying to maintain and keep some of their faculties about themselves and later in life. And making the same amount of money. Making more money. Really? You mad at Floyd Mayweather Jr. because he didn't want to get hit in the head and he makes $100 million a fight? Huh? Come on, man. I'm Jay Fish Microwave. Zab Judah actually knocked Floyd down, but the ref didn't call it a knockdown when Floyd's glove touched the floor. He slipped. (laughs) He slipped. I remember that. He put a glove. That's the only time Floyd... I think that's the only time he touched the canvas is when he put his glove down. He slipped on some damn saliva. (laughs) Saliva all on the floor. Spit. That's it. That man ain't even been down. That man never been knocked down. That man never been knocked down. (laughs) 
That's a sham. But you watch. <laughs> you watch. You watch how they promote it. They're, they're promoting it right now. The fight hadn't even been signed yet. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is over there in the UK promoting this fight. Do y'all not understand that? He's already promoting the fight, creating the hoopla surrounding a McGregor Mayweather fight. UFC versus classic boxing. That's what he's doing right now. And they technically still haven't agreed to this fight. It is a sham. But it's going to be a sham that makes this man about 200 plus million dollars. <laughs> the 47 problem. Now, if they were fighting MMA, yeah, Floyd is going to get choked out. But in boxing ring, essentially, Mayweather's home now. Nah, McGregor leaving with his head on swole. Wait a minute. I like that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If they were fighting an MMA-style fight with MMA rules, Floyd Mayweather would get his ass kicked. What? I acknowledge that. <laughs> I acknowledge that. I keep it real about this stuff now. I acknowledge that. He's not an MMA fighter. Why would anybody expect Floyd Mayweather Jr. to beat uh, Conor McGregor and wrestling and choking people? And kicking people. That man don't know how to kick. That man don't know how to choke. That man know how to box. He know how to throw them hands. And so he's going to be boxing. They are going to be boxing. Yes. If they were doing MMA stuff, I would throw all my money on McGregor. Anybody that trains eight hours a day wrestling people, I would put my money on them over a boxer. But that's not the case. That's not the case. Like I was saying, my homeboy was con confused a little bit. He was like, man, why do you think? Uh, Mayweather going to win this fight so easy. It's like, you do realize that they boxing. He's like, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, they boxing. The man not wrestling nobody. Uh, from Texas Tide, colonizer and ish, Mayweather is not fighting unless he takes 90% of the cut, which he should. From uh, Sin, the fight will be just like Mayweather-Pacquiao fight three years from now and disappointing. You think three years from now? I don't. I don't know about three years from now. I don't know if it's going to happen in June when Mayweather is talking about what Mayweather's talking about, but it's going to happen this year. If it don't happen in June, um, you know, and Floyd always fights around Cinco de Mayo. You remember, he used to call himself like the Mexican killer, him and his daddy. But if it doesn't happen in May or June, then it'll probably happen like in in October or something like that. Usually, Floyd fights uh, you, during that time of the year in the fall. But it's going to happen. I think it'll happen this year. I don't think it'll be like Pacquiao where it happened a couple of years, you know, after the fact where people wanted it to happen. Which, by the way, if it would have happened, you know, five years ago or six or seven years ago when Pacquiao, when Pacquiao was at the top of his damn game, at the top of the sport, he still would have got his ass kicked. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, you Pacquiao fans. You people thought Pacquiao was going to beat Floyd. Even if it would have happened seven, eight years ago, Pacquiao still would have got his ass kicked. Period. Okay? You, you can try to uh, calculate based on what Pacquiao did when he supposedly had lost a step or two, which wasn't the case to me. You can calculate what he did in this last fight, which was absolutely nothing. You can calculate it back seven, eight years ago, and the result still would have been an ass kicking for Pacquiao. <laughs> From Gary G. Money Joyner, not a Floyd fan. If Floyd wants my respect, he got to fight Triple G, not McGregor, and he should donate his purse to black schools so he can probably educate our children, but he's too much of a selfish ass in work to do that. Floyd not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Floyd is not going to fight Triple G. Okay. What this, what this fight is, what this last fight is, is one last fight. Big payday, and to pass uh, Rocky Marciano, an undefeated, you know, an undefeated career. That's it. Like I really believe. Now, if if, if Pacquiao gets on a tear, or if somebody gets on a tear, and Floyd Floyd years later after he retires after this fight thinks that he can come out of retirement and make two hundred million dollars, I can't blame him for doing it. But I really believe after this fight that he's done. The only reason he's taking this fight is for one big, huge payday, 200 plus million dollars, 
And the only reason he's doing it this particular fight is because it's going to be easy. Like, I don't think he'd take a $200 million fight against Triple G. I don't think that he would. Why would he? He's made uh, close to a billion dollars in his career. Why would he risk that, taking an L, which would be a definite risk? Um, I think Vegas probably would even give the odds on favorite maybe to Triple G at this point. Um, So that ain't going to happen. But I really do believe this is an easy fight. (laughs) It's easy money. He can make some easy money, and he can pass Rocky Marciano, which is uh, the greatest boxer in boxing history you let a lot of uh, fight fans and Americans tell the story. So Floyd basically wants to rub this in the face of all of his haters that not only am I making $200 million easy dollars, but I'm also passing your, your hero, Rocky Marciano, as far as undefeated record. So it's easy. I don't think that he's going to come back and fight anybody that can really fight after this. I just don't, I don't think that he would do that. Why would he? Why would he? He ain't fighting nobody he can really fight. From Dre Wells, that ish don't count unless he fights a legitimate boxer. No, it's going to count. It's going to count. It's going to count. McGregor already got his boxing license. <laughs> it's an actual boxing match. It's going to count. When you look at his uh, his boxing record, <laughs> or box rec, B-O-X-R-E-C, go to boxrec.com. If you go to his box rec, it's going to be listed under a boxing match. It's going to be a boxing match. It's going to count. It's going to be number 50. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Yeah, so a lot of people going to be mad. Man, this cat just going to make $200 million easy dollars. Oh, I hate Floyd Mayweather Jr. He's so rich and he's so... He's so cocky. I hate Floyd Mayweather Jr. You gonna keep on saying that. <laughs> you gonna keep on saying that. Floyd gonna keep on going to the bank. When Tupac was around, he wanted to raise a nation of thugs. But uh, I think it's only right for me to raise a nation of brothers. Frank Cole, Ernest Jets. Hey, thank you for joining me today on the Doug Stewart Show, man. Uh, happy Monday to you, man. Happy Monday to you. Hey, shouts out to my man, Waterhead Walter. Good job today. Uh, pole politicking. Uh, Brandon Butler, the consultant. And also my man Pink Gator for this track right here. This is my favorite part coming up. So, and a special shout out to all of the Stewies. Without you, there would be no me. And listen, man, we got a couple of big announcements coming up for the Doug Stewart Show and the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. A couple of big announcements coming up. You know about uh, us moving to our new home here very soon. That's big news. We're moving to the DougStewartShow.com here very soon, full time. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you get your premium membership. Uh, but we also have some other big things to tell you about. And uh, we'll probably do that tomorrow. All right? So stay tuned to the show, man, for all uh, the upcoming big news with the Doug Stewart Show and the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. I will post the link to the uh, the Doug Stewart Show Bracket Challenge for the tournament on Twitter. But you need to be a member of the Doug Stewart Show Facebook chat group, where we already have it posted at right now. So you might as well go ahead and do that. But we'll still post it on Twitter, all right? And uh, see who can pick these teams in the NCAA tournament. We'll do it again tomorrow. Same Doug Stewart time, same Doug Stewart channel. I'm wrecking for the cue, I know it make you wanna Frank Coleman, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper, Edgar Love Four founders, sons of blood and thunder I'm wrecking for the cue, I know it make you wanna I'm always 